Still, there are effective and healthy ways to kick off your weight loss. And, yes, it will take time. All without starving yourself, wasting money on sketchy supplements, or punishing your body with exercise. Instead, try a few of these safe, proven tips. And remember, you'll get the best, longest-lasting results from changes that don't leave you exhausted and dreaming of pizza. 1. Choose quality over quantity. If you expend more calories than you take in, you should lose weight, says Alicia Romano, Road, LDN, a clinical registered dietitian at the Francis Stern Nutrition Center at Tufts Medical Center in Boston, Massachusetts. But you don't want to be so hyper-focused on calories that you skip out on a wholesome diet, she says. If you focus on the quality of food, there's a good chance you'll eat more nutrient-dense options that leave you satiated, says Lauren Sullivan, a registered dietitian with Cleveland Clinic's Center for Human Nutrition. 2. Track your diet. First, remember that no food is inherently good or bad, Dr. Seltzer says. And if the idea of jotting down everything you eat in a day makes you feel guilty or anxious, just skip this entirely. That said, people who track what they eat tend to be more successful in losing weight because it raises awareness about what they're noshing on, says Dr. Mayer Davis. In fact, a series of studies published in the Journal of Personalized Medicine suggest that those using apps to monitor their diet and activity were more likely to experience an increase in weight loss. Obviously, these apps, you know the ones, aren't going to work if you don't input everything you eat, says Dr. Mayer Davis. You've gotta be consistent and honest about what you consume. 3. Focus on plants. A 20-year study of more than 100,000 people, published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, researchers found those who ate more whole grains instead of refined grains, incorporated more fruits and veggies than sweets, and preferred tea and coffee to sweetened drinks and juices, gained less weight long-term. In another, small-ish, study of more than 1,000 people, Published in the Journal of General Internal Medicine, researchers found those following vegetarian and vegan diets, rich in whole grains, fruits, produce, nuts, and legumes, lost more weight than dieters on other plants, even the low-carb Atkins diet, over the same time span. Because fiber, like protein and fat, slows the digestion process and optimizes fullness and nutrient intake at mealtime, a plant-based diet can help you feel satiated longer after eating, says Romano. 4. Opt for low glycemic carbs. A food's glycemic index GI, refers to how quickly sugar from food enters the bloodstream and how slowly the food is digested. Foods with a glycemic load measuring less than 55, i.e. green vegetables, most fruits, raw carrots, kidney beans, chickpeas, lentils and bran breakfast cereals, enable your metabolism to run at a more consistent pace, which can positively impact weight loss, says Sullivan. Foods that rank 70 or higher potatoes, white bread and short grain rice potentially slow your metabolism, which may make it harder for you to shed weight. In a study of more than 100,000 people, published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, researchers linked diets with a high glycemic load to increased weight gain. 5. Make super small food swaps. The best way to support sustainable weight loss is to incorporate small changes into existing habits, according to the European Journal of Obesity. So instead of giving up your daily BLT bagels in favor of an egg white wrap, try ordering your sandwich on an English muffin. Or say you eat a snack bar every afternoon, swap your 300 calorie bar for a 150 calorie alternative. When we commit to small food swaps, we actually adapt new behaviors, says Romano. Whatever you choose, just make sure your focus is on, small manageable changes, that way you're more likely to follow through for an extended period of time, rather than just a few days or weeks, says Romano. 6. Don't skip meals. Eating at regular intervals during the day optimizes your blood sugar control, meaning you avoid the spike and crash that comes with eating a big meal on an empty stomach, says Romano. When you avoid eating when you're hungry, you're welcoming hunger pains, food cravings and drowsiness, all of which can lead to snacking on foods high in fat and sugar. 7. Get your protein from lean food sources. Dietary protein is one of the most important tools in your weight loss arsenal, partly because you expend more energy digesting protein versus carbs and fat, Dr. Seltzer says. But it's often packaged with naturally occurring fats that amp up the calories of each serving. It's why, according to the Harvard School of Public Health, 
Leaner protein sources like chicken breast, white fish, and low-fat dairy have fewer calories than alternatives like bacon and burgers. Greek yogurt, cheese, and cottage cheese also make smart choices. 8. Pair protein with sweets. When you combine a carbohydrate like toast, with protein and or healthy fats, peanut butter, it slows digestion, which makes you feel fuller than you would eating the carb alone, Sullivan says. Next time you're craving sugar, pair some dark chocolate with nut butter and call it a day. 9. Opt for higher fiber carbs. Like protein, fiber slows the rate at which your body plows through carb calories so you feel full for longer and maintain steadier blood sugar levels, one reason why research consistently links fiber intake to weight loss. That means fibrous whole grain bread tends to be a better choice than white bread and also explains why fruits, which contain fiber and valuable vitamins in addition to sugar, beat straight up candy every time.